Hey everybody. Hey, uh, I had a friend of mine reminding me last week that the uh, Arma Trials uh, weekend uh, is coming up just uh, about a month from now in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and it's a such a great setting and such a, a pretty uh, pretty place to go ride that uh, I wanted to have a bike put together for that. So I found this uh, 250 Cotton Trials bike. Um, about oh, just about a year ago, um, the end of last year, I rebuilt the motor completely. Um, new piston rings, uh, bo board 30 over. Um, bottom end was good, just some new bearings and seals and gaskets. Um, put a new ignition coil in it, um, just simply because the old ones are known for um, not holding up real well uh, after sitting for. 40 years um, and then going through several heat cycles they kind of have a tendency to crap out so um, put in a new coil there um, and then it just sort of sat so I've been uh, working the last two days to get this all back together and adjusted and everything and I think I'm other than a uh, kill switch on it I think I'm pretty much done with it I haven't fired it up yet but I'm certain it'll run well and uh, should be a real fun bike for that uh, weekend. So um, this is a 1968 Cotton. Um, as you can see here, the uh, the motorcycle masterpiece is what the Cotton called themselves. Um, it really is a pretty bike. Um, alloy fenders, aluminum tank. Um, it would have had a light on the the rear. Um, I put on a new alloy rear fender and uh, I'm gonna just leave the light off I actually got a title for this and it could be street legal um, but I'm not gonna ever put a plate on it or anything so um, when I finally sell it the title will go along to the next person and they can they can hook up the lights if they'd like and and put it back on the road but uh, um, really nicely made bike like so many of the late 60s. Um, these were only available uh, through mail order here in the United States in 68. Um, later on there may have been a cotton dealer or two, um, but in 68 you had to order directly from the UK side unseen. Uh, this bike sold for $480 and it's the 250 37A Villiers motor. Um, cotton zone frame. Um, they used uh, MP forks on it which are really nice forks. I uh, wish I could find more of these. Um, they're a copy of a Ceriani and um, cotton used them because they were slightly cheaper um, than Ceriani. For an, for an additional twenty dollars you could get Ceriani's put on it instead of the MPs. But the MPs are really good forks. They they work really well. They're 35 millimeter. Um, they're marked on the triple trees. You'll see an MP. I'm, I, I don't think I ever found any markings on the lowers or the tubes. So you'll have to go by the triple trees on those. Um, great forks. Really nice. Um, it would be interesting to put it back on the, the trail here. Um, I got a, a wassail seat for it. Um, it comes with, it came with uh, r nice steel Dunlop rims, front and rear, um, with uh, uh, British Hub ink hubs on it. Um, so I assume that those were something that you could um, buy just for, uh, you know, they just spec them out uh, for probably many types of bikes at the time. Um, that uh, cotton didn't produce their own hubs. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like on this side. Um, they tucked the exhaust in nicely under the seat for the 68s. The one pri years prior to it, the exhaust was kind of out here on the side. and um, It uh, looked to me like it would sort of be in the way. So that's tucked in nicely. Um, everything is stock on the motor in a real nice shape now. Um, this has 
a nice set of original Dunlop trials tires on it. Uh, this side, I went ahead and just put a number plate because I believe with Arma I have to have a number plate somewhere. So I just put that on. Um, the rear brake is a cable actuated. Um, the rear pedal actually pivots off of the uh, left foot bag there. And then a cable runs around to the other side. Um, let's see, other than that, you know, pretty standard for the time. Real pretty motorcycle though. I'm real happy the way it came out. Um, the old black lacquer on the tank, I just went ahead and left. Has a few scratches, but I think it looks nice. Um, and there's just something about uh, old black lacquer that's that's cool. I did repaint the frame in fresh black lacquer. Um, and uh, that's about it. it uh, it's going to be a nice bike. Let's see if there's anything I was missing. Uh, I don't think so. That's it. Um, last week I did finish up the DT1 MX. So this is that bad boy here. That's going to get back on the track here in a couple of weeks. Um, I did finish the Honda Magna. Um, that was interesting because it came to me with the carbs off and in pieces, completely disassembled. And um, when I finally got it all back together, I had about 200 additional pieces to those carburetors that didn't belong to it. Um, somebody just tossed a whole bunch of carburetor parts in a bag for me. <laughs> and so uh, it's always a challenge to put back car, you know, com fairly complex carbs when you didn't take them apart the first time, um, but to put them back together when there are way more parts than actually go to it is a bit of a challenge, but it's a good running bike. Um, so yeah, the, the DT came out great. Um, it's going to be fun. Uh, my next thing to get moving on here, I need to get this Jeep um, back together and back uh, on the road here. So if I don't uh, get on that quickly here, I'm not going to have it to drive around this summer. So uh, Jeep is next. I'm going to just put the bar bikes to the side and uh, I just thought that uh, you may be interested in seeing the cotton here because um, you know, this is the first one that I've ever seen and I've been around a lot of British bikes, so um, really pretty bike. So, hey, thanks for looking.